In this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out what one of these little portable electric heaters will cost you to run this winter. It's November of 2022 and natural gas prices have pretty much tripled in our area and it's pretty much doubled for the rest of the United States. So a lot of people are turning to these portable electric heaters. They're going to be shutting off some heat to certain rooms and kind of supplementing heat with one of these. Well, how much do one of these cost to run? They're fairly cheap to purchase, usually around $70 to $90. One great thing that I've used for years is a kilowatt meter. You can plug anything into this that runs on 125 standard voltage and it will tell you how much it's going to cost to run it per day, per week, per month, per year. It could be a toaster, it could be a coffee machine, or you can use one of these portable heaters. So if you want to lower your utility bills, pick up one of these, figure out what's costing so much to run in your house, and eliminate it. We're going to get this hooked up to the meter, and we're going to show exactly what it's going to cost to run one of these per month. Now it's going to vary throughout the U.S. Some places are 7.5 cents per kilowatt, some places are over 10 cents a kilowatt. That's adjustable on the kilowatt meter. You can just look at your electric bill, see what your electric rating is, and then you can set this, and that's how you're going to get an accurate reading. So let's get started. Simply plug in the kilowatt meter to any outlet. Now to get an accurate reading, we need to tell it what we're paying per kilowatt. Go ahead and hit the menu button twice, and the default is 8.5 cents per kilowatt. Check out your electric bill and see what you're paying. Now we need to set it. So you just hold down the set button and once it starts flashing you can change what you're paying per kilowatt. Now in my area we pay nine and a half cents per kilowatt. So go ahead and hit the set button and now that's saved. I've got the heater plugged in. I've got it set on high number three which is going to use the most electricity. So the reading I'm going to give you off the kilowatt meter is going to be if you're running this on high three, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you just want to see some electrical stats, if I just arrow down, this unit is drawing 11.6 amps, 1404 watts. So go ahead and hit the menu button once. That gets us to the cost screen. If you go ahead and scroll down, let's say you're going to run this 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days. You have a yearly estimated $1,145. If we arrow down one more time, you have an estimated $94.11 per month. Arrow down one more time. And you're looking at about $22 per week arrow down one more time and you're looking at about three dollars and thirteen cents a day to run this portable heater 24 hours a day now I'll show you how I set it and it's gonna cost you a lot less what I do I like to set the temperature of what I want the room to be at so let's say I want the room set at 69 degrees the heater is gonna kick off and on automatically it's not gonna run that often and it's going to save you a lot of money doing it this way. So those are the costs associated with running one of these portable electric heaters per week, per month. Now keep in mind this is a 1500 watt heater. So if you're shopping around for a heater and you may pick up a 1000 watt heater, it's going to cost you a little bit less. Hopefully this video gave you a little bit of insight. And maybe you could save a little money on one of these in your own household for this winter. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And thanks for watching.